Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Forrest Stevens and I'm converting this minivan that you see right here into the ultimate stealth camper van. What I've done now is I've just insulated everything. Uh, I've got some stuff preparing to cover this insulation and make it look really nice, but before I do that, um, I want to put some electrical in and some lighting in and the lighting that I'm going to be using is LED light strips and the reason I'm doing that is because they're highly efficient for the light that they output and they're also RGB lights which means they can do a spectrum of different colors and the one that I'm interested in is red because when it's dark out if you use red lights your pupils don't dilate a lot, which means that you can turn off that light and still see fairly well in the dark as if you weren't using a light at all. So using that inside the van is gonna be nice. And then also, if people are outside, these windows are tinted, and if I'm using red light in here, they won't actually be able to see it. That's kind of like a little unique thing that you can do to remain stealth while still being able to see around your van. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install it today and the whole setup of what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more intricate work than most people would do, um, and that's just because I want it to be working really, really well. This is a very standard thing in a minivan. What happens in minivans is there's usually one of these at the back, a cigarette lighter. So I've actually just cut it off, exposing the two wires, this already has a fuse in the system, which will be in the fuse box of your vehicle. And it's already at the back. I'm going to wire everything off of there and power my lights off of there. And you might be thinking, but then you run the risk of draining your starter battery. So I've actually thought of that, of course. And I ordered one of these. This is a very simple voltage reader. So it just shows how much voltage you have. And you can just allow your voltage not to go below a certain number and that will make sure that you have enough power to start your engine still. There are my wires. Now they're in a really inconvenient spot because I have this cabinet here. So I've just exposed the positive wire there. I'm actually going to solder onto there a new wire and, and run it so I can work on it a little bit better from over here. Positive to positive. You really don't have to worry when it comes to 12 volt about shocking yourself. Whoa, whoa. Just losing connection here. Let's get a clean connection. Look at that. So one thing that I want is I want to be able to just turn this system off with just the flick of a switch because right now, if I just hook those lights up right away, they'd be, on and off with this, which I know that I'm gonna misplace and things like that. So I got these tiny, tiny little switches on Amazon for super, super cheap. So these are them. I got 10 of them for like five bucks or something. And you really only need to connect the hot and then the hot off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So a little trick to this, you can see I've actually left a lot of wire here. So this, anytime this gets touched, it could short. On the second one, I just cut a tiny little piece off and I'm just gonna, you just stick that through. There's like a little eye hole and you can stick it through and solder it on. So I'm actually gonna have to cover that up with electrical tape just so that it doesn't get, uh, doesn't get touched. But um, that's just something to think about. Switch is on. This is your positive. That's the only thing you did the switch to. I'm gonna connect that back. I'm just testing this switch out to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. Make sure your connections are good, nothing. So I'm gonna flick this little switch now. It's flicked and there we go. So switch works good. On to the next step. Next step is wiring this in. So on the back, you can see there's actually a positive, which is this side and a negative, which is this side. Uh, negative, I'm using white wires. Positive, I'm using red wires. It's going after this switch uh, because I want to be able to turn this off too because I know this is gonna be really bright and I know that I don't like lights when I'm trying to sleep. So it's probably gonna go somewhere about there. And then I'm going to cut holes in all of this and mount it in just with silicone so that everything's placed and visible and I can keep track of when my battery's running well. Okay, so one thing I didn't quite consider and I would probably redo in a bit of a different way. I had to wire onto this, but I also had to wire off of it. So you can see these balls of solder are just kind of a big mess. Um, but let's flick this on. 
you will see that it does work. And these also work. So it does work, um, but I am worried a little bit about those connections. Uh, I'm definitely gonna tape around them and separate those two because there's only that little gap in between. Okay, so to test the total watts of what I'm using, I'm just gonna, there's a output display here for watts. I'm actually connecting this into there. Okay, so we're full blast on white. Our output is 41 watts. So that's quite a lot. So let's dim it all the way down. That's the dimmest on white. And we're down to seven watts. Dimmest on red. We're down all the way to four watts. And at nighttime, this is probably going to be enough. But if we wanted it brighter, brightest on red is 16 watts. And then I'm assuming it's going to be similar for the other ones. 19, 20. Definitely going to be able to put all of them up, I think, on this battery. But if not, I can also trim parts up and then just connect them with wires afterwards. So that's one way of doing it. I was also thinking of putting switches in here so that I could turn sections on at a time so it's more energy efficient. So I might end up doing that. So here we go. And I've just taped them together to keep them tight. And one little mistake that you can avoid is measure out your positive and negative wires so you don't end up with a bunch of them like that. Okay, so this is what I've done. I uh, wired in a switch to this, which runs to the cigarette lighter, um, and it's powered right now. So this, once I flick this, should activate this and be able to turn on the lights. When you turn it on, you get a flash of them, which means they're active. Plus you get a reading here because this switch is off. Um, so this would actually connect my main battery to this, which I don't really want to do. So I just leave it there, off, this is on, which means this is on, which means I should be able to use this, aha, uh -huh. and turn that on. There we go. Dance party. So now I can use my LED lights two different ways, through there or through switching that. So I'm just simply really running it along the edge here and there's sticky two side tape on the back of this so you just really just put it where you want it and this tape doesn't work that well so but it, it does seem to be pretty strong on this one i've had led lights before that haven't worked i'm gonna have to attach something here so that it'll be sticky to get it around these tight corners this actually came with these little things which are rubber um holders so they're kind of they're little silicone they're they adjust and some screws so i actually just screwed those into the reflectix so it's obviously not going to hold a ton of weight but it just holds the edges down that uh are not taped down properly so let's give it a try and see what it looks like and uh, this is how to install your led light strips in your van and this is on now so let's give this a flick of the old switch and uh, see what it looks like. Ready? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This Reflectix actually reflects the light a little bit. Um, it's going to be all covered, but this is awesome. What does it look like? Look at how bright it is. This is so cool. All right, so now let's switch this off. So that connection's been broken, so this is no longer connected whatsoever. Uh, now we're gonna flick this one on, and this will connect it to the car battery. So it works off either one. Pretty incredible, actually. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, I love having the two different batteries I could run these lights off of. This has been really, really cool, installing these LEDs. So all I've done here is I've actually just cut little slits and this all fits in. I'm gonna silicone it and I'm just going to tape down these edges here. So let's have one final look. Everything is taped up. There is siliconed in so that will set 
and I'll be able to flick those on and off. The lights are all up. So the next job is to put these on. And that will be coming out soon, so stay tuned, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified when these videos do come out. Comment your favorite thing below. Make sure you continue watching on this channel. A playlist is popping up. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around here. Um, you guys make this possible by continuing to watch here. I want to create educational videos. I want to create entertainment. I want to have fun on here. And it's only possible if people continue watching. So hit that playlist and continue watching all the other videos I've done about this van. And also my vlogs. Alright, see you later.